All right, so now it's the 11th of October. Put, we established this bait on September 26th, late at night. It was just kind of over, ran out of options. Our bears up north quit hitting baits and decided to just try one a little bit closer to home and see what would happen. And within four hours, we had a bear on it. It was, a, albeit it was a smaller bear, but we had a bear. So started baiting it heavy every day and uh, poured a bunch of grease around and stuff, hoping that at a minimum, this bear, you know, in his travels away from the bait, spread the scent through the woods might attract another uh, bigger bear is what we're kind of hoping for this this bear was pretty small probably 160 pounds 180 pounds somewhere in there so this bear the smaller bear he was coming in here basically every night he'd be coming in late so we uh we just kept baiting and, and actually the bear kept coming in earlier and earlier every day that he was coming in uh, one night he came in about a little after eight o'clock sunset was like 7 30 and he was here for about an hour and a half and it wasn't too long after that. He only sat here for like 20, 20, 30 minutes. And then you could just see in the camera that he was nervous. He was looking all over the place and he took off. And about an hour later, we got a really nice mature bear in here. So that mature bear, he started coming in here. We didn't see the, we didn't see the little one again. So we kind of figured that he ran him off. And uh, started seeing this bear the first night he came in was like midnight, and the next night he came in was like 10. And actually the next night I was able to hunt, and I came down out of the stand at, right at uh, the end of legal shooting time, and he was in like 21 minutes after I left the stand. And he was in here all night, so next morning came out here to bait it again, and I was able to hunt that night. Came out, same thing, this time he was in 19 minutes after, so I, I, I assume he was in here circling. and. Now my work schedule kind of screwed up my hunting. There was about a five or six day block that I couldn't even get out and hunt. So it was, it was at least the, the bear was coming in. He was coming in every night. He was coming in earlier. I was hoping I was gonna maybe get a crack at him. And then my long weekend came in. So I was really planning on hunting. Really bad luck. We got about three and a half inches of rain. Uh, the first night it rained till like 10.30 at night. And it rained hard that day. I think we got like an inch and a half. And that bear come in about one o'clock in the morning. The big one did. He sat here for about 40 minutes and he took off. And the next day it rained during the morning. We got out here and uh, baited and everything. And we didn't even sit that night because it rained all night and rained part of the next morning. That next night we were able to get out here and hunt. Sat out here, didn't see anything. So, and then that uh, bigger bear quit coming in again and that smaller bear returned. So I don't know what was up with that. And then we had another night where uh, we weren't able to get out here and the bigger bear was back. So it was kind of like they were, the little bear would come in here, the big bear would run them off and just kind of take over the bait. So tonight's gonna be probably my, probably my last night to sit. I've not had a bear in here in legal shooting yet. And I don't know if this smaller bear comes in. I don't know, I, I really, really want that, that bigger one. Uh, it's a lot more meat on them and uh, just a lot nicer bear, but you know, I guess we'll just have to make that decision when it, if it happens, if a guy takes that smaller bear or not. But, you know, as of yet, we've not had one in the daylight. So I guess we'll see what happens. We're going to get out of here, get home, kind of get ready and, and uh, get back here in about six or seven hours. And, and hopefully we'll see a bear tonight.
right, so you're probably, as you're watching this video, you're probably saying to yourself the same thing that I was uh, when I was editing it, and why didn't you shoot? Well, there's a couple different reasons why I didn't. Initially, the bear came in, went to the bait, and when he laid down, he was kind of bladed, and I didn't like the shot angle a little bit. I'm shooting a revolver, obviously, but it was close. You know, it, it probably would have been a good kill shot, but number one, I wanted to make sure that I had an ethical shot. I didn't want to take a chance at wounding this bear, getting him to run off, whatever. Number two, he was a smaller of the two bears. And, you know, up until this point, I've not had a bear come in in the daylight. So part of me was thinking, well, if this bear is in here, this bigger boar is maybe gonna come run him off because that's what's been happening uh, the whole time. Anytime the smaller bear was in, that bigger boar would come in and we would run him off. So when I decided that I was gonna shoot that bear, he moved just a little bit, he got up, and I had one really good opportunity on him when he was standing broadside uh, just after he'd been eating, but this bear was really nervous. So I, I was really thinking maybe that bigger boar was around and maybe was gonna come in. So I passed on that shot, he got up and he started walking, he started walking towards me and at the closest point, as you can see when that bear stopped actually and looked at me, I was like that close to shooting. I was going to shoot. I had, I was thinking so many different things. Man, what if another bear is here? You know, and I was really, really thinking that that bear was going to come back in. I thought maybe he'd just go lay down a little bit and, and come back in, but he never did. So that was the last day that I was able to get out. I did not get a bear this year my fault if I, I could have taken that bear I had him dead to rights but I decided just to roll the dice and see if that bigger bear would come in and he didn't and the season's now over I'm, I'm coming out here to pull my bait didn't have a bear back again had a lot of fishers and coons and even deer come through it and that was an indicator to me that the bears were kind of gone out of the area because the whole time we've been baiting we hadn't seen any other wildlife except for those two bears but I made my decision I own it I'm comfortable with it um, I would have liked to have some bear meat for this year but uh, I guess I'm not going to but probably the best thing that I took from this season is the education that I got about baiting just how bears operate uh, I just I learned a lot so I'm, I'm, I'm good with it hunting isn't always about the kill it's about part of the experience too so that's going to do it for uh, this bear hunting season. Alex didn't end up getting a bear either. He didn't get a lot of time to get out like we would have liked. Uh, had a lot of things happen. Bear season was just different this year. The bears quit hitting baits early. The acorns fell and corn. A lot of guys were shooting big bears out of corn fields. We didn't have that opportunity, but next year we'll be back. And next year we'll be back with a lot more education, information. And I'm going to apply that to next uh, bear season in Minnesota. And hopefully next year's hunt will be successful, not only in the taking of a bear, but also uh, gleaning some more information. Hope you like this video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. We'll see you on the next one.